Hello friends and my name is AJ. I am back with a new tutorial for the web series of learn HTML part 3. Today we are going to learn ordered list and unordered list and the type of attributes for the ordered list and unordered list. Uh, there are two attributes for ordered list the type and the chart and there are there is one attribute for ordered list that is only unordered list is only type so ordered list is basically a type of list wherein uh, you want to show some kind of numbering like 1 2 3 4 a b c d something and unordered li lists are those lists where you just put some circles or squares and you don't want to show the number that will uh, be depending upon the requirement you are facing with the client or as per your wish or as per the designing you want to display so we'll straight away go with the coding part so first I'll make the copy of uh, uh, this page so that we don't have to do everything over and over again and I'll continue the coding in the same page only so whenever you guys want you can go straight away on the website exire.com and download these pages so that you will get the coding directly if you want to have a look have a sneak peek in the coding so this was the previous uh, code we did and if you want to see it in the browser so uh, I'll just click on open yes so this was the coding we tried to do last time I will not be removing any part of this code so that you guys remember what we did did in the last time now if you have to go I'll create a difference between each and every tutorial so this was this was part one and I'll is it uh, part two sorry part two learn HTML part two right learn HTML part two so yes yeah we are good to go and now we'll do this H one again slash H one guys I'm doing very hard I'm sitting in some kind of too hot room to give you some good tutorial so kindly do take these lessons seriously and if you have any questions you can write it down below in the comments I'll get back to you with the answer either in the comments or with a video whatever is required from your side so if we go here so learn HTML part 3 we'll start coding here so if we uh, first uh, we decided to start with ordered list right ordered list ordered list so here we start here we started ordered list and here we closed ordered list now you can create list items this this is order ol is the short form for ordered list and li is the short form for list item remember the closing tag for li is optional in html but if you want to go with the xhtml and current days search engine optimization and html validations you should use close tag with each and every item otherwise search engines will drop your ranking because of unstructured or improper html tags okay so item 1 Two, item 3, item 4, item 5, item 6, item 7. Okay, let's make it 10. I'll give you one more example with this only. Uh, item 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I'm going to show you how it. First, let us see. No, we haven't saved it. We shall save it. Ah, system has been freezed. Just give me a moment, guys. Okay, now it's saved. So just click on refresh. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we were talking about one more attribute. The type attribute in ordered list and you have total five or say suppose one two three four yeah you have four four or five type at attribute uh, values for the type attribute and what i'll do i'll copy this so that you can you guys can see the difference and uh, what's the use of particular attribute value that is up to you sorry so we are having type ah. so type if I say I'll uh, in the type attribute if I pass, pass the value as i this is supposed to be ro uh, roman numbers so so see if and if uh, I'll give you the example of next attribute value and if you mark it as I means capital I so it will go as capital Roman numbers now uh, if we first we'll see this small first capital afterwards so if you pass value of the type attribute as a it will start the numbering like this and if you will do this then you will have this so guys see the difference so if you don't mention any uh, the attribute type so it will de take the default numbering 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the numeric one if you mention a small i it will uh, take the roman numbers like uh, uh, the in uh, roman numbers in small if you pass the value of uh, type attribute as capital i it will uh, take the roman uh, num capital roman numbers it will if you will pass uh, value of type as a small a it will take this list it will if you pass the value as a capital a in the type attribute you will get this list now we are coming to start ta start attribute of uh, your this ordered list so if I say if you want to start say suppose uh, this list from 11 not from 10 so you have to mention it as 11 okay oops sorry this thing works with uh, numeric I suppose no there's some problem guys uh, oh 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 sorry N there is not some problem I have misspelled so I s try and remember see if you have misspelled any attribute or any tag it will uh, not be recognized by browser and it can create problem for you and you can you will be scratching your head over and over again but you will not find any error because there is not error it is the misspelling misspelled ta uh, tag or attribute so same thing if you uh, try with say a then you will get c so you don't have to do anything if i type 1 and i type this so i get the numbering from this one this may be like if you have to um, this is useful when you have to use some te uh, text here then a list of certain items say suppose 10 item then a paragraph then you have to continue the list of items so you don't have to type in the numbers again and again and the use of ordered list is used uh, is uh, 
at its best when you have to increase or decrease the item from the middle of the list so say suppose if the list is of 100 items and you have to insert any item at 50th position you will not have to renumber each and every item you can simply insert it with the li tag and it will reorder automatically now we'll see the same uh, things with unordered list i'll copy this so that it i'll make it fast to the other end so uh, we'll remove these uh, tags first because these tags are not useful for for unordered list uh, they were useful for the ordered list only sorry okay so now we have see this is unordered list wherein you don't have any numbers you have only dots mentioning that means you don't want to display the numbers there is no relevance of if there is no relevance of the numbers you if you may want to mention certain points like a bulleted point uh, fields so you can use an ordered list we have do we do have um, a type attribute for unordered list as well and you see the use of is it right now uh, if i type s q u a r e square so we get these square bullets so this type at the, uh, there is a, there are three values for the type attribute for in unordered list so the uh, second one is circle just go and refresh you will get these bullet list and the third one is the default one basically if you don't mention it you will get this third one only and this one is disk so see this is the default one the disk is the default one for any browser if you don't mention the type attribute you will get this unordered list as the disk okay so guys this was it for the for this video i am giving you very short lesson so that you can grasp this these lesson very easily and you don't forget anything and i'll start uh, increasing the frequency of the video so that you guys get daily videos and uh, you can learn it fast enough so if you want to see the whole tutorial you can visit exire.com or if you want to receive the updates from youtube regarding this channel you can sub click on subscribe button and if you want to share the information and uh, knowledge with others you can share the video so that everybody else can also learn like you are able to learn from this these videos thanks a lot thank you very much once again good day and bye bye